Good morning, friends. I hope you are well. Uh, it's great to be able to be sharing with you live from St. Paul's Church this morning on a glorious, uh, beautiful, warm, sunny May Sunday. So I hope you are well. Um, this morning we have a service in the hall because our service at St Paul's this morning is going to be combined with our annual general meeting and uh, we're just going to try and mesh those things together but you would be welcome to come for that and then next Sunday morning uh, it is Pentecost uh, the end of May last Sunday of May and uh, because it's the last Sunday of the month we will be having brunch church so we'll be doing uh, celebrating Pentecost together in the church hall um, uh, uh, and sharing food and fellowship together. And again, you will be really welcome to come and join us for that. This morning, we are thinking about the body of Christ again. Uh, I get, shared some thoughts last week about being the body of Christ. And uh, that was like part one. And this is part two, where we're thinking about being the body of Christ um, uh, in the context for us at St Paul's uh, with our annual general meeting this morning. So, with those words in mind, grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and also with you. So, as I mentioned, we are thinking uh, this morning of that famous passage from 1 Corinthians 12 about uh, being the body of Christ again. Uh, words from the Apostle Paul um, to the Corinthians. But he also wrote another uh, well, he wrote many things, didn't he? But the other thing that I'm drawing out this morning as I share uh, together with St. Paul's Fellowship this morning is those words Paul wrote from Philippians, where he says, I thank my God every time I remember you in my prayers. I thank my God every time I remember you in my prayers. And that's a wonderful accolade from a pastor to the people. And that was what Paul was able to write. And this morning I'm seeking to encourage the family of St Paul's here today uh, by saying I too thank God for um, every person at St Paul's. Thank God for the way we work together so well, the way we seek to offer ourselves, the way we seek to offer uh, our resources, our time, our money in order to be the body of Christ in this place. And I guess that's really what I want to draw out from that 1 Corinthians passage this morning. Uh, that sense of everybody working together to make a big difference. Um, when I did my sponsored walk for Grow a few weeks ago, a friend contacted me and said, I'm really sorry, I'm not able to give financially. I can't donate, but I will be cheering you on. And throughout the day, they kept sending me messages of encouragement to uh, enable me to keep going on that journey, that sponsored walk around Sheffield. And that was so important to me. But that is a demonstration of how the body of Christ works. Some of us are able to give money. That's brilliant. Some of us are able to give time. That's brilliant. Somebody, some of us just bring ourselves. That's also good. But we can all do that cheerleading thing. We can all uh, support one another, encourage one another, motivate one another, spur one another on to good deeds. Many of you will have seen the uh, marathon that took place on behalf of and with Rob Burrows, that rugby league uh, play, football player, last weekend. And you'll remember that his uh, friend Kevin Seinfeld uh, ran the marathon but pushed him round. And that picture which has gone global uh, this week is that one of uh, Kevin taking his friend out the wheelchair at the very end and carrying him across the finish line of that marathon. It's an amazing picture. I heard a thought for the week this week on, on, on the radio and it spoke about uh, the fact that when we look at a mirror we just see ourselves reflected back. But an icon is something different. And that picture, that image of Kevin Seinfeld uh, carrying Rob Burrows across the finish line is a real iconic image. It means it's, it's, the word comes from the word icon. And of course, that iconic image is, 
it, it carries so much weight and presence and power. But an icon is different from a mirror. A mirror re merely reflects back. An icon, and I spoke about this some weeks ago, is one of those paintings maybe of a saint or of the Trinity, the Holy Family. And the idea of an icon is that it's something that you see through in order to see something of God. And of course, that iconic picture of Kevin Seinfeld carrying Rob Burrows across the finish line is iconic in every sense of the world because through it, we see something of the heart of God. That sense of him carrying us, encouraging us, being for us, cheering us on, uh, supporting us, loving us. That moment that got me was uh, when Kevin just kissed his friend as he scooped him up from the wheelchair and took him across the finish line. It was a beautiful, beautiful moment. And in so many ways, I want to encourage the folks here at St Paul's this morning by saying, that's what we do. We rejoice with those who rejoice and we mourn with those who mourn. But we, we do that iconic thing, which means that hopefully when people look at us as the body of Christ here in Parson Cross, they see the body of Christ. They see through what we're doing to see something of the heart of God. That's my heart and desire for St Paul's. And I think in humility, we do our best to try and be that and do that for this area. We support one another, we encourage one another, we spur one another on to good deeds. And within that, of course, we don't do it for our own sake. We do it for the sake of the kingdom of God here in Parson Cross. We do it in order that the love of God might be manifest here in this place, in this part of the world. And so uh, another, another little rugby expression to finish off with. Um, our son has started playing rugby again. And one of his little phrases, which talks about the different sections, the different movements in rugby is, we go again. Friends, we go again. We go again to be the body of Christ, to spur one another on, to love one another, for the sake of the kingdom of God in this place. And so wherever you are this morning, I pray that you will have the energy and resources given by God in order that you can go again, that you can go again and be the body of Christ where, you, where God has placed you. Go well, friends, and have a great week. God bless.